Mic check one, two, testing out the audio quality here. One, two, three. I'm just doing a, a visual from the camera. Check this out. I'm using my phone to look at myself and to hit record and everything. And to collect my audio, I'm using a Blue Yeti microphone and a program called Audacity, which is free. It's unreal what you could do with this. It sounds decent. My goodness, I wish I would have known a long time ago how good this Canon 50 millimeter 1.4 lens is. It's, it's beautiful. I'm very impressed with this. I like this setup, but I'm hoping the audio gets up, but I could configure that in um, Adobe Premiere. I could raise up the volume. By the way, I'm having a lot of fun using Adobe Premiere. I think Adobe Premiere is, has to be just like a dream come true that you could actually have the opportunity to put something together from your imagination. And not only that, you could change the colors, you could change the backgrounds, the scenery, you could make it look cinematic, you could make it look scary, you could make it look old, you could do all types of crazy stuff. Helicopters going over right now. Why is that? Why is there a helicopter going up right now? It's too cold to be outside. You mean to tell me that the natives are acting restless right now at this hour? Holy cow, it's one o'clock in the morning. Unreal. It is like 28 degrees right now. I don't see all these people out there acting crazy. Well, it is New York City, so you never know. Or maybe it's just a billionaire who needs a quick ride to the his house. Imagine being so rich that you get dropped off at the airport and you have a helicopter that takes you to your house, your penthouse. They land at the landing port, and then you have your suburban come pick you up and bring you to your whole, you up to your your penthouse in New York City, where it's nice and high, and your view of the city's insane. Like you see nothing but lights. That realm of New York is insane. That people actually live like that. You know what you need to do. You need to take a, a, some time out and follow some of the realtors that buy and sell property out here in this city, especially the penthouses. Look up some of the richest people in New York City, like the Koch brothers and people that live on Park Ave and in the financial district. My area I like is the Lexington Ave area. Oh my God, that place is beautiful. Like in the eighties, right there next to the park. Let me tell you something, if I live, if I live next to the park, Central Park, I have to run at least three, four times a week. There's so much motivation in that park. You see, you see young and old. You see people in their 70s out there jogging. Old people out there jogging. And then we got young people who are like, oh, it's bad for your knees. There's, there's a way to do it, a way to run to where you will have to destroy yourself. I just can't wait to uh, look at this. It looks good so far on my phone and it looks good here. I don't know if the audio is going to sound good. Maybe this mic has been like dropped. I bought it used. I got it for $100. This not this mic is normally brand new like 250. I got it at Sam what well, one of these places in the city. Anyways, I was looking for it online and I found it there. They had it for $100. I said, "Yes." I ran over there I think the following day. The other one I bought it used too. That one looked like it was used and abused, but I managed to make it work. It sounds pretty good, that one. It's not bad as long as you're kind of close to it. This one is supposed to be more of a, on the pro side. This is a pro microphone. I mean, there's some people who are doing podcasts and radio shows using this microphone right here. When it comes to sound, I'm not A plus yet. Like, I'm, I'm just learning how to do this. I don't, I really, really, in all reality, I'm on a real program. I got my computer set right here. I want a real program, like something that you pay for, but I want to get it in the future. But for now, I'm using something free, which, you know, I don't know how to do all the controls on here. But Audacity is very simple, easy to use. I, I Somebody wants to have a meeting with me because they want to start a podcast and they want to know my expertise. But I'm like, I'm not even an expert. How can you say you want my expertise? They just want to know what I know. So I guess I can help them. A little bit but this this is a form of help right here look i mean i'm talking to you about audacity blue microphones uh, lenses uh, i'm using uh beats right here and i really in all reality i don't need these on i could just take them off i wanted to make this light and sweet quick straight to the point get it done really all i did was turn on the mic i had no 
Didn't write anything down, didn't organize anything. I really wanted to check to see the quality of the video and the sound. And you leave it up to me, I'm gonna talk like it's a radio show. So, cause that's what I endeavor to do in the future. When I'm older, I wanna be able to have a simple podcast that I could also videotape and put it online. But I'm looking for a partner, I need, I need a partner or two. Usually when you have several people with you and you guys are vibing good and you guys are like on the same, I guess what they, what they call it frequency now these days. If you're on the same wavelength and you guys uh, could flow together lovely, be real with each other, that would be amazing. I'm telling you, if I buy a big house and I have, a, a, I guess, an attic or a basement or maybe a house in the back or something like that, I say, I say the basement. If I had a basement, I would I would definitely put up an area in there that would have like a little area where you could just podcast with soundproof and everything with all the best microphones. I'll let sponsors in and they could do their little, uh, you know, little five second commercial in between sets. I think that would be fun. I think a lot of the time, though, it's going to have to be me alone because people a lot now these days, they're really not uh, consistent when it comes to a lot of things, especially when people have obligations and responsibilities which happens so maybe if i get some sponsorships i could you know afford to pay people too to keep them around but this is a dedication though you know i, I put a lot of time into it sometimes it just it could be taxing on the body and on the mind because you're like what am i going to do next i got so much stuff i could do it's insane but i wish i had more time either way i'm in study zone or study mode because anybody who's pursuing any type of uh bachelor's degree master's degree doctor it's 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 you go to school for a very long time for that and i feel like when it comes to this i'm having fun and enjoying it but it's all school to me too i'm learning so much and i wish i, I started a long time ago especially when people started doing their thing back in 2000 i think i think youtube went escalated beyond when around 2012 i started with youtube around 2007 like watching it hard like turning off the TV, picking people's brain, finding out topics. I became like a sponge. It was around that time where I was, what was I doing? I guess I was sitting back dreaming of a lovely day. It is time to stop this. This is the new look. This is what I'm going for. I didn't mean to make it so long. I'm gonna try to chop it up. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell to get that notification. Hopefully I'll upload my next video soon, but you'll get the notification because you hit that bell right now. Waiting for you. Did you hit it? Right now. Hit that bell. Just scroll up. Hit the bell. All right, you got it. Yeah.